All right then, welcome to another draft. I'm doing proper video now. I'm here with Neil. Hi, Neil. Hi. And Rob, but Rob's not yeah, speaking. Rob, Rob's on site. Rob's lurking. Matt might lurk Rob, as well. He said. Rob's a strong silent type. Yeah. Do you reckon we should try and do something fun? Should we try and draft a particular strategy? I feel like we're deep into the format enough now. I'm bored enough with the format that we should try and let's see what the first pack holds. But we should try and do some kind of stipulation draft. <clears throat> and see if I can pilot it to 7 0 again. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think the stipulation should be it's got to be better than that sack of shit we drafted last time. <laughs> the one I went 7 0 with? Yeah, obviously. Noted. Uh -huh. What well, should I take this ominous seas over the Batra just for a bit of uh, fun? No. Because then you just end up in. Well, I end up in cycling, but like a more fun version of cycling. I could also just take Fire Prophecy. You could also just take Batra. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do something Ooh. fun. Draft something that isn't cycling yeah. or red white. The the green black. Um, oh, there we go. The, the green black mutate decks are actually really good. That's a pretty nice pack for the green black mutate decks. Uh, they're actually pretty yeah. good, but also like have a bunch of game. I mean, I'm probably going to cycle uh, table something here. I've got like one, two, three. Four, five, six cards that I'd be happy four, to see. Five. Yeah. Do yeah. you take Heartless Act or Blood Curdle? I think Heartless Act's better, isn't it? It's two mana. It, there's rarely a time when you can't destroy a creature. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. Should we? Yeah, let's take a back one. Yeah, let's let's try and draft a reanimate deck. <clears throat> hmm. Third colour. I'm sorry, but when red white cycling is far and out the best deck in the format, why am I getting fourth pick flames fills? Could also just take Farfinder, but I think Skull Prophet just, just take Skull card. Prophet. Yeah, it's just the best card, isn't it? Sadly, as much as I don't want to pass that flame spill, could always go green black red. Um, Porky Parrot is actually really good in the green black deck because you've got quite a lot of death touches. So yeah, like, I could actually just be red. Cavern Whisperer? That, that mutates. I could make my stipulation that whenever there's a mutate card, I have to take it. How does that sound? Uh, sounds like you're four picks in and you've already broken it. Because <laughs> it was a Cavern Whisperer earlier. Oh, was there? Never mind. Um, is it that could or, do from or, that or one. Deadweight? This or Deadweight? Is, it, is Cavern Whisperer or Deadweight, isn't it? Yeah, I think Deadweight's a bit better, but screw it. I want to mutate to my heart's content. Oh, this pack crap. Aegis Turtle? Good mutate target. I, I like Mutual Destruction, just not in this deck. It's not. So, I would say, like, the... Uh, Dead Eye's not bad, is it? The Dead Eye's not the worst. Yeah, it's a human, though. I don't want humans. I want non-humans. Boot Nipper. There it is. That's the MVP. Fertilid? I like Fertilid as well. No, I think... I do like Fertilid, but they come later than Boot Nipper normally, and also Boot Nipper's just, like, so good in the mutate deck. Nip, partly, nip. partly because, I, like I said, I want to live the porky parrot dream. Start gunning down monsters for free. Remind me to take a sandworm as well for my back for more. I think I'm going to table one from that first pack, hopefully. I think that's one of the most depressing things against the green-black decks, is when on six mana they go, cycle giant sandworm at the end of your turn, and I'm like, oh, I've got to back for more, have we? Yeah, <laughs> that's fine, unless... <laughs> A uh, bunch of crap here. Literally want none of these facet readers. The only one that I might play, I guess, if I end up going blue. Keep safe as well. It's good with Keep safe. start mutating. Yeah, whatever. Because thing is, you might splash them as well. Because my great regret horn is. Yeah, it's a free splash, isn't it? Yeah. And that's why I like boot nipper, just because a lot of stuff mutates at three. Not a lot of stuff, but a, a, one of the key commons mutates at three. <clears throat> Got Rob heckling us from the from the chat. Yeah. Who's greater through Great Horn? My greater through Great Horn. Oh, I set myself up for that porky parrot. Do you reckon I take this over unlikely aid? Yeah, unlikely aids. Yeah. Come back. There it is. Tabled it. Called it. That's what makes me a pro. That's ten what years, makes me ten, a pro. Ten years ago. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Nine, yeah, it was the second pack, not the first pack, wasn't it? Yeah. This deck's not looking too bad, actually. Normally, when I force red white cycling, you end up after pack one with like four playables and five cards that cycle for two and are off color. But this is a, yeah. a solid eight cards that I'm happy to play. Uh, oh, Evolving Wilds this time. In case I don't end up splashing red. Yeah. I do quite like going three, four colours with these decks. Because you, you, you have a really good late game, so there's like no reason not to be multiple colours. Yeah, and you usually end up with like a couple of Fertilids. Yeah. Rob's great or great horn. See, you don't mind having a couple of humans, though, because then you can... Uh, survivors bond them back yeah it's true I quite like survivors bond uh, monster step I lost monster step's fine <sighs> is it straight yeah. to cyborg I mean it's cycles sure I'll put it in the down uh, not going to play of those let's put it in the deck for now but I doubt it'll stay there by the end of the draft it's the card that I always cut uh, what do we have here could just Force the mutators or another skull yep. prophet. What are we doing? Forcing taters. the mutators. Taters forever. Taters or top eaters. Uh, top eaters or mutators. One of the worst ones, though, but sometimes you just lightning heat it for opponent for the win. It's also a 3 3 death touch for your porky parrot. Yeah, that's true. The porky parrot that I definitely don't have. Oh, another Yet. target. Another target? Oh, or boom. Yes, definitely. Essence Symbiote. Do you reckon definitely the target? Yeah. All right. That's 11 people. Boom. Back right. for more. I don't really like the name Back for More because you're mostly targeting something that hasn't been there in the first place. <laughs> it should be called like First, <coughs> first Approach. <laughs> back from the Dead. Back for the first time. Back from the Future. Back from the graveyard. Yeah. Back, from, back from cycling. Yeah. Cycle back. Anyway, lots of lots of things it could have been called, but wasn't. Poor showing wizards. Well, sometimes it is back for more, because sometimes you do actually play a creature and then get it back. Yeah, that's true. Hushback Mentor's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really need another sandworm now. I've got, got my combo assembled. Oh, boot nipper. I'll never not take boot nippers. Nip nip. There's also not much else in this pack, is there? Oh, the 4 3's alright. The 4 yeah. 3 tramp, I bought. It is quite nice, but I'd rather be mutating something on turn 4. Yeah. Not that I have a huge amount of mutators at this point. Started forcing mutate and then ended up with 3. Yeah, and you've also not seen any. Yeah. Just need a Starix or two, and then we're sorted. Greyhorn, Asterix, and then we're fine. Nip, nip, nip. Mouth within a mouth. Ooh, what does this do? When we have a non the top pack I'd like, non human creature craft onto the battlefield. Oh, how do we feel about this into Godzilla? It doesn't do anything. Really? You don't want to live the dream? The dream is taking Essence Symbiote and then mutating a bunch of stuff afterwards. Yeah, but... Imagine... You could just say Deadweight as well. Yeah. Dead like, it costs seven. Yeah, but imagine doing that. Imagine going that into Godzilla. Might table, I guess? Can, I can hear lots of buzzes, what's Rob saying? Seven man is a spin the wheel. You need to pick something, you've got three seconds. Oh, I've taken it now. Whoops. <laughs> Reading the chat. What an absolute donkey. <laughs> uh, yeah, that mutates. Let's splash this absolute bag of pap. I'm going to win so many games with it. Watch me. Uh, I don't know <coughs> if it's actually quite good. I've quite enjoyed playing that. Just 6 sixing people. Do quite need more removal, though. If I see any more dead weights, I should probably take them. 
Jesus. <laughs> Who needs good cards when you can spin the wheel? It combos with Skull Prophet, look. It does. Skull Prophet taps for two. Yeah, so on turn five, I can make a Godzilla. It's basically free. So imagine me going turn five, Godzilla. They kill it. Turn six, back for more. And then it would be back for more, and you'd be really happy. Yeah. Do I want Dark Bargain? Excavation Mall? Lead the Stampede? How many creatures do I have? Is it just an Excavation Mall? Surely not. It's not just Dark Bargain. Yeah, I quite like Dark Bargain. Absolute Bargain. Oh, just a 4-4. Four, four. Just 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Sounds good. Got a lot of 4 drops at the moment, though. Keep an eye on that. Probably don't want any more. A uh, bunch of crap. Which of these two am I? What what colours does that? Sideboard? What colours does that crystal produce? The wrong ones. Or well, not all the right ones. Unlikely aid or commando. Oh god. Commando. I think commando's slightly better. Unlikely <laughs> aid's not too bad actually. Yeah, I'll take unlikely aid. Especially when I've mutated up. Matt's favourite card. Take my first one. Well, your own's actually not too bad. Sometimes it just gets people. Giant growth, it is not. But it does just get people sometimes. Come on, that porky parrot, so I can double splash off my zero fixing. Boo. You have an evolving wild. You have another Godzilla. Yeah, so that, you Godzilla. have to take it because then you're more likely to hit it. And you'll table the naturalist, so that taps for two mana. Sadly, yeah. you can only use that to. I if I will table the naturalist because this deck is. Uh, sorry, this pack is not great. But yeah. I have to just take the Godzilla. I'm all in on that plan. Ooh. People really don't like this card, I find. Uh... I'm the elemental. Yeah, I guess. What common is better than these? I guess they weren't in red, white, or blue. But yeah, it's just the Ivy Elements, isn't it? Not a great pack. Oh, there's a great one. I think it's just that, isn't it? It is just that. That card's nice, though. I feel bad passing it, but this deck is in dire need of a great one. Oh, there's a Fertilid as well. I've never read. I've never played this, but it doesn't actually do anything, does it? No. Although it, it might help you cash your Godzillas. That is true. I've got two ways already of cheating those into play, so I think I'm good. Two, two ways. Yeah, I've got Kinnan and I'm back for more. Why are you questioning me? I didn't. Another Fertilid. Oh, the bush meat Porcher, one or the other. Uh, I've got a lot of four drops though. I think I just want to keep smashing Fertilids. Okay. Rob says land. Rob is wrong. Never pick lands, they don't do anything. What's the point? I need two drops really. I need Porky Parrots. Porky Parrots and two drops would be the ideal chain of cards here. Uh, none of these really do anything. Memory Leak's quite nice, actually, isn't it? How about a seven drop? No, I want Memory Leak, I think. Really got quite a lot of beef. Could take a land. Don't really need to now. I've got two Fertilids and a Great Horn. Memory Leak's underappreciated, I think. Sometimes it's nice to know whether your opponent's got got anything before you just start smashing 11-11s into play. Well, that's that Survivor's Bond. Is it that or the Bosch Meat Poacher? I do quite like the idea of gaining 11 and drawing a card. And then it coming back for more. Yeah. Should I do that? Yeah. I'm at 26 cards, so I'm going to have to start making cards. Probably Dark Bar, 
bargain. Sorry, bargain. And you, you can come out. That's 24 now. 24 is probably right for this deck, isn't it? I've got a couple of cyclers. Rob's really keen on these lands. Our last like five messages from him are just land, dual land, another dual land, on color dual, land. And you've gone, no, no, <laughs> yeah. no. Don't need, no. don't need, don't need, no thank you. Removal? Removal's removal. Some of it's worse than others. Hmm. Well, I've got three removal spells, kind of, it's just two of them cost six mana. Not the uh, it's not the best, not the best green black deck I've seen. It's got it's got like a lot of powerful cards. It doesn't really look like a deck, does it? No. Uh, splash another card. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot of fix, and this card is actually really good. I do really like General's Enforcer. It's more like to play anything good. else here. <clears throat> Waiting on other players to pass a draft. To draft pack. Oh, there we go. There's my there's my splash. Land. Land, land, land. Land, land. Is that better than Of One Mind on the splash? One mana potential divination. Yeah, probably right. Yeah. In case I do want to splash it. Squad. Why are Whisper Squads going around so late in yours, yet whenever I pick a Whisper Squad, I never see another one? The law of Whisper Squads. It's like a quantum physics thing. Probably don't want to play this Lurking Dead Eye. I might just play the Enforcer over it. What do you reckon? Oh, another Revolving Wilds. Yes, please. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Where's my enforcer? Do it. Do it. If you're going to splash, why not double? Get rid of all this crap. All right, one, two, three. Don't need that one. Uh, right, what lands do I want? So I want one planes. Are you actually playing Kinnon? Why are you playing one Kinnon? Because it's good. It's a bomb. <sighs> uh, now what do I want? Five swamp, six forest? Yeah. Sounds good to me. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. What a deck. Oh wait, no wait, why am I playing that? Don't need Monstrous Step. What can I play over that? Dark Bargain back in? Do you not want Monstrous Step? Nah, it doesn't really do anything. It provokes a creature. I suppose it would be nice to 18 someone. Does it? Uh, yeah, alright, I'll play it. I'll play it, but I'm guessing I'll be cycling it the large majority of games. But sure. let's see. Let's see. Hope we don't play against that Lutri player to our right, siphoning up all the uh, good spells that we didn't want. This felt like it was a stipulation draft where the stipulation was just draft a shitty deck. <laughs> um, uh, do I keep this? Yeah. Never mulligan. <laughs> Are you... Fucking kidding. Where am I going? There you go. They're at disadvantage now. I'm going to smash them because of that. Let's find a forest and pass the turn. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a scoured baron. So that's le it's less. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> I wish it was, Neil. Cycle this and draw back for more. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Got him. laughs> 
Got him. <laughs> Got him. I still don't really have anything there. Thankfully, neither does my opponent. Oh no! No! <laughs> the combo! The combo! That's what you get for saying you say memory leaks are underrated. Yeah, that's what you get for being cocky with your back from Oz. Oh no. Oh no. Do I it's literally the other one? all gone. Pete Tong. All gone. Well, I've got a 3 got 3. A yeah, got a hill, got a hill giant. Hill you up. Death touch hill giant. My honey mammoth might just get there, especially if it's got trample. Do I have any other ways of getting stuff out of the graveyard? I don't, do I? It's, it's literally nope. just that back for more. Just a back for more. Uh, at least my opponent's just playing one threes on turn four. Ooh. I think I'm with a three three. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And pass. I suppose they do fuel oh, my... Uh, go and get an also. island and confuse your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, right? Who cares? I'm going to have a 6-6, six, six, mate. I'm going to have a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, there's a batter on top. No, there isn't. Uh, do I attack? I don't really need to, do I? No. Because I'll definitely trade. So yeah, just... Mammoth. Bada bish, bada bosh. No attacks. Bada bish. Bada bosh, no attacks. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's not that nice, actually. <laughs> Take a few turns before it pays itself off. <clears throat> Ooh, that there is you a go. Nice one. Whisper, whisper. Uh, so I go whisper and boot nipper, right? Whisper on the insatiable and then boot nipper. That's yeah. a good plan. Or I could just make a boot nipper and an enforcer. And then next turn, Whisper. Which of those deals more damage? No, it's just Whisper, I think. Mutate on top of this. Over. Drain you for one, discard a card. Bash with both, I guess. Yes. Yeah. So they could have untapped that, but that's got Death Touch, yeah, so they definitely would have done. Death Touch you up. This game's not looking too bad. I might get them with the old Trample Death Touch trick as well, if they double block Cavern Whisperer. Oh yeah, because you can cycle. Yeah. Titanoth Rex. Come on, Quisto. What do you got? Show me what you're holding. Presumably not a lot. A land. Yeah, that's always nice when your opponent <laughs> randomly cycles a triumph in their main main phase. Yeah, because well, they're super duper dead. Yeah. Nice to get two triumphs though. What have they got? Because they keep sort of fingering various cards. Eh, nothing. Oh, there's the island as well. Clear the island, just yeah. to teach my lesson throw them off <laughs> had it yeah. had it always had it send in the clowns yeah yeah untap that right I don't think you have any good blocks you might actually just be dead regardless here I haven't worked it out but it seems that way 
Yeah, so this this one gets trample. Yeah, that's just, it's just dead anyway. Doesn't Honey Mammoth have trample? No, it doesn't. It's just a All just, right. just a six six. Yeah, just dead, just dead, matey. Victory one zero. Marches oh. on. You do realise if we go 7-0 and again, people will assume that we're doing loads of these and only posting the ones where you go 7-0 and with a shit deck. Yeah, and also and also saying that in every one. I just assume I'm really good at magic, which I am, you know. <coughs> it's true. Where did I finish and, last season? And, when did we get the email? I finished, like, top 16 in the last season. I don't know. I don't oh, even bother oh, making this. I ranked 17th. There you go for proof I'm not lying. Well, that. it doesn't, because you literally shows. just said, I finished top 16. You ranked and then... 17 in May. Can you see that? No. Never mind. I was 15th when I logged out in the evening, so obviously two people overtook me in quick succession. 17th best in the world, matey. That's why I go 7-0 with crap decks. I'm just on a different level. It's true. It is true. Do I keep this? Kind of tempting. Yeah, never mulligan. Never mulligan. Ben Why would you mulligan that? This me. got the perfect hand. Ben Stark once told me, imagine drawing the perfect card for the next three turns, and if your hand becomes good, keep it. If it doesn't, mulligan it. And if I draw the perfect card, then this hand's pretty good. Not perfect, but it's a start. I'm pretty sure that is the perfect card. No, Swamp would have been a lot better. No, it wouldn't. Because you want to cycle that so you're ready for your backwards for Mulwa. Yeah. And then you want to cycle into a Swamp. That is true. I want to, yeah, you cycle, cycle that into a Swamp. You don't want to, you don't want to Swamp now, because that might tempt you to cast Heartless Act early on the first monster. Swamp. And you don't want to be doing that. Swamp. Swamp. What a noob. <laughs> Doesn't even have full art basics. I got a full art basics. Yeah, I don't know how I got these. I don't think I paid for them. They must have been a reward for something. I think they were one of those like random tournaments that cost zero gems to enter. Or like cost a trivial number of gems. <clears throat> Although saying that, that guy is worth killing. Oh, but you've got a batter anyway, so you just play first lid. Yeah. I mean, I can't then just go anyway. around. No, what, what, you, what you do against that is you let them mutate and then with the trigger on the stack, Heartless Act it, and then they go, wah, 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 wah. I know, I have done that multiple times, don't worry. Oh, that's good. Mm. That could be worrying. No, there you go, perfect. Perfect card, play a Fertilid. Job's got him. Yeah, my opponent's going to start drawing a bunch of cards, though. I don't like the idea of that. Well, they won't, because you're about to, I don't know, do stuff. I don't really have anything to do next turn, unless I just kill this. It depends what they do now, I guess. So I could just make a 4-4 as well. Yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> uh, that doesn't do anything. Do I just make a 4-4? Probably not. I think I just passed, don't I? Yeah. Pass the turn. You keep drawing cards, matey. This card's good. Sometimes it does nothing, but when it's good, it's really good. It very rarely does nothing, I don't think. Yeah. It's, it is often just draw two cards a turn. Come on, matey. Show me what you got. Are you drafting as well? 
if you yeah. send a photo of cuts. I oh, you drafted something a deck. You're obviously inspired by me. I was. Oh, come on. I'm not going to lose to the Gloom Pangolin deck, am I? You might do. You might get pangled. Pangle you up. Do I double search here? Because then next yes. turn, I'll... Yeah. Because I wanted to have something to mutate Batter onto, but I can just make a 4-4, can't I? You can make a 4-4 and a 2-3. Yeah, so I get a Swamp. And an island, I guess. I don't need another. Yep. Yeah, another swamp. Or the Did colors. you not block? No, because I wasn't really thinking about it, and I thought I wanted to keep it in play. Boom. There you but, go. This will card advantage back. Yeah. But do I do it now, or do I? You probably wait. I'd probably just play the four, four, and the two, three. Yeah, just get a better target, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I make two, three, make a four, four, and pass the turn. Actually, I might have even been tempted to make the ivory element as a three, three, instead of making the four, four. How come? Uh, it's a much better target for mutating onto. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think that was just being clever for the sake of it. What's the no, difference right. between... Yeah, you are right. Well, the only difference is if... Pirate... I know I am. <laughs> no, I don't know if you are right, because this can now block whatever grows with empathy. Whereas if I made a 3-3, three, three, I'd take 3 damage. So I don't know, I don't know, it's pretty close. Interesting. That's why you play the pangolins. <laughs> Kill them off. Yeah, just take this, don't I? Sadly. Whatever. And then next turn, I can try and two for one with the back for more. Is that right? I think that's your only option, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know, I suppose you can leave... Oh, no, you can't even Heartless Act anything now. I think I'll leave this back, just so they don't get suspicious. And also because two damage to them is pretty irrelevant at this point. Emophage is quite a nice one, actually. Because like, if I need to, I can just start mutating onto IV Elementals. All right, let's see what you got. Pyroceratops is a target? Yeah. We've got something, because they're not letting that resolve immediately. I don't think that changes what I do, though. Might have to just chump the recluse with my uh, enforcer, depending on what they do here. Because if they pump the ceratops, I don't really want to trade with a recluse. Yes, you do. Do I? A hundred percent. Of course, you just um, like. It, well, it depends what they pump their ceratops with. Do you not think a seven-seven in play is better than an enforcer? I don't know. Like. It's a pretty big like I said, it depends what they do, but like, yeah, if you kill both of their cards... It would be a three for one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Although they have to... Oh, okay, interesting. All right, well, I'm definitely blocking now, assuming no further action from them. Oh, well, that turned out well. T-Y-V-M. Okay, yeah, whatever. I will take that three for one. That is fine. Like, Ivy Elemental for two, Insatiable Hemophage is also fine. Uh, surely I just Ivy Elemental for maximum. Or it could even Ivy, Ivy Elemental for one and Bosch Meat Poacher. And then I just start, because then I can Batra onto it, and then I can Hemophage onto it. I just start killing a creature every turn. Yeah. yeah. So I go Poacher and Ivy Elemental for two at this point. Yeah. Nice. It's turned out quite well. Well done, us. Empathy does nothing. <laughs> that looks like an ultimatum is on the way. There's a lot of different colours there. 
Which ultimatum, though? I don't know, but that's a pretty nice target for Batra. There's nothing they can have here if I try to mutate onto an Ivy Elementor, is there? No. And my mana can't really tap very logically, so I have to do that. Mutate. Bish, Bash, Bosh. Over. Do I keep Poacher up? Yeah. Uh, Five, six, no. eight, nine. So two turn clock if I don't. If you just attack, he's dead next turn. Yeah. If you attack with everything, he's dead next turn. But then they're... I think they're pretty dead either way. Pretty dead isn't actually dead. Yeah. Hmm, tricky. 5, 6, 7 to 12. But they must have something. I don't want to, like, gamble on them having literal nothing. I think I do. It's not about them having nothing, though. Like, nah, I'm playing it safe. What, what is leaving the portrait back? What are you leaving it back for? Because they're going to try and kill this, and then I gain 5 and draw a card. Because, like, really all they can have to keep them in the game is removal. Like, what I don't want to have is attack, put them to 10, they kill Batra, and then I don't really have a lot left because I can't even mutate the, the Hemophage. You can't just, you can just make it. Yeah, but it's just a hill giant. Um, I guess I'll bash with the same two again. I can start making one ones if I need to. Oh, they've got a back for more. Look at this. Oh, good, Neil. Neil's in the call center. Neil actually works in a call center. <laughs> What's happening? Figures. What are you doing? What? I'm killing it. Why didn't you just remove his creature in response with your general's enforcer? No, oh, I didn't really think about that. That is a good point, though. <laughs> no. That's why I'm. That's you know. That's how I get to seventeenth ranking mythic, just by making these uh, out there plays. Like literally, discard a card, not have a one-one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you. That's how you get good at magic. That's how you. Like, <laughs> this is absolutely. I'm just, I, was, I was distracted by your wife talking about what would you say you don't work in a call center she was saying i work in a call center because obviously i'm wearing the headset that i wear for the podcast and oh, it I looks see. like the type of headset that people wear in a call center i see well i'm blaming my distraction on her but you are you are right that removing it with enforcer might be in the better play i will admit that thank you <laughs> they're fingering their graveyard again they're, they're trying right this time oh. <laughs> right this time i've seen it where is it? It's over here. This time. I know what I'm doing. Good. Right, got it. Oh, well, that could have just killed it next turn. Let's you could all sort of sacrifice the 1-1 one -one to yeah, draw a card again, why? That went either way. Right, 2-0. <laughs> Trucking on. <laughs> Excellent plays. Excellent plays all around. See, me this is the thing. Opponent. It's like... You make it to Mythic all the time. Yeah, and easy. then we'll play it. And I'm like, do these things. And you're like, oh yeah, that'd be much better. And I don't make it to Mythic. Well, what what does that tell you, Neil? What does that say? I'm not sure what the answer is. Oh, Stewie's watching. Hi, Stewie. Better lucky than good. That's what it tells you. I don't, we did, do we have a, a chat room for this? Should we make it episode discussion if you want to talk to us? Yeah, go to episode discussion. Pretend it's a podcast. Podcastington. I don't know when you joined us, Dewey, but um, we're much like the last draft, really. Drafting and playing terribly, but winning nonetheless. I would like the clarification about playing terribly to be... All Neil. Neil is advising me very badly. He's only pointing out the good plays after I miss them. Because whilst you were like, oh, your missus distracted me, I was actually talking to my missus and then turned around and noticed that your opponents played dig up target creature from the graveyard Against. whilst you have a card in play <laughs> that says remove a card from the graveyard from the game. And 
weirdly, I thought that you would put two and two together and come up with four, not 17. I, don't know, I think that's more of a one and one together situation. Um, life link or death touch? Uh, can you not give it trample? Uh, probably... I think life link on the first one. Yeah. And then the second one, I'll say... Oh. Hello, trainers. Back in a sec. Sorry, Neil sometimes starts barking every now and then. He has to go and take his meds. That's why he's disappeared for a sec. Uh... Guess I'll offer the trade. They instantly trade with the. You back? Yeah. Stop barking. Ooh. Humble mentor and fertility's good for constantly putting counters on it. Yeah, it is. I've had that before. Do I just do it? I guess I do, don't I? Is it? Uh, that's for three. It might be better just to pass it. No, I don't want to just pass, do I? I'd better just make more fertilids. Yeah, uh, what do you think? Probably just want right. mana. Well, just play Humble Mentor. Okay. I suppose they haven't actually played a third land, so going aggro is, is a valid strategy here. Yeah. Because they're after a mountain for their do-somethings. Yeah. And they're currently not doing anything. Cycling away some good cards as well. It's nice to see. Oh, they've probably got concede in a minute. Yeah, that's what you get with a cycling deck sometimes. You just don't really get there. Bash him for five, make a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think this game's all but over. To Miss off the snapbacks. <laughs> Imagine. Well, something's something's going to fall under a, a rumbling rock slide, I think. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Um, attack with this and this? What do you think? Uh, I'd attack with the IV elemental. I, do, I might just attack with the two three threes. I don't know. Yeah, that might be better. Then, for, then I can make a boot nipper or something, cycle out of Fertilid. I don't have anything to, to back for more at the moment. Um, that with the two three threes probably, and then make a fertilid and a death touch boot nipper. Do you think that's better than? Yeah, we'll see. Let's guess it. And see what see what they block with. Nothing. Fine with me. Touch. Sadly, no trample. Not an option. Because like, you do have a, a few removal spells. Mm, do I? <laughs> yeah, you've got Heartless Act. Yeah, li literal three, one of which is in my hand, and the other of which also costs six. What's the other one? Oh, Batra. Yeah, ba the Dark Destroyer. Is that what it's called? Makes Batra! It's a, it's a back. What's the Zenith Flout? Uh, Venith, v Zenith Flout? Zenith Flare count zero at the moment. We haven't been flared once. Yeah, but what's it do, I think, is the question. Oh. I see. One, two, three, four, five, six at the moment. Zenith U for six. Seen the flare is a very unfair card. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one in the last like twenty passive what? Really? Hold up. What shenanigans are happening here for them to want to Um I reckon they've got the site the, the cycling card that um gives, gives first strike. strike. Yeah, because that yeah, yeah, the first strike cycle card. That's what they have. So I just make a, do I just make a 4-4 and pass then? Um, 
I'd be tempted to do nothing and pass, and then just like Start put a counter on fertility, take take a couple of like put a counter on fertility, take a counter off fertility or something yeah, like that. And then next turn I can back more to kill a creature, see what they do. And again, yeah. if I make this, I can bash with two four fours next turn. Well, the other thing is, what you can do is, like, if you don't do anything, they'll probably cycle to give first strike anyway, and they can block with the 2-2 two, two further and just take both the counters off and... Yeah. I mean, they're not going to attack if they do that. But I think you're right that I just don't attack here, because that seems like a very obviously telegraphed first strike. Like, that's a very weird pacifism. <laughs> they didn't cycle it, even though I <laughs> sort of know they've got it. Well, they might not have it. Why? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why would you pacify that? What a weird play. Uh, bec like because it's the one that you can put counters on. Yeah, but very slowly. I don't know. I don't know. Like, do you take both off, or do you take one off and no, just take one off and put one on? Yeah, take one off, load it back up. Uh, I get a swamp, I think, to start You want with. swamp yeah. for battery, just in case? Yeah. Doesn't the wolf bear have trample, by the way? No. I can help. Keep on thinking things have trample and they just don't. <laughs> they just feel like they should. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's just that, like everything nowadays has trample, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just make this and pass, don't I? And what, Anna land? Yeah, I do have a, I do have a Titanoth Rex. That's two. I was mentioning it. I've got two. I've got two Titanoth Rexes and a, and a worm. So if I draw any of those, it's looking pretty spicy. But yeah, I'm pretty. I safe. think he's got. Um... I don't know why I've got. I think he's got a mutate punter as well. Well, because he keeps looking at creatures. Yeah, he keeps on looking at his creatures and thinking. So I think he's got like a cloud thresher or what? Not cloud thresher. Yeah, no. That costs know. far too much green. Cloud piercer. There yeah. you go. Could be the, the the dragon, the rare dragon. The perfect. Could be form. the rare dragon. The rare Fwenex. There it is. There it is. Yes, we knew you had that, mate. Don't yeah. worry. Uh, I load up, don't I? I don't need to search just yet. Um, I'd probably take one off. Nah. It's more mana efficient this way. Apart, uh, like, apart from the fact that if you drew a two mana cycle, you couldn't actually cycle and play back for more. Yeah, that's fine. I can, I can wait. <laughs> I think this is just better because I've got loads more counters to take off now. I should continue to do nothing. Like, this is just a six mana destroy type creature if I need it to be, which is all right. I can actually strip the lands out of my deck quite. Oh, do I do that now? Uh, yeah. So it doesn't have plus two, plus two. Although I don't know, I don't know how bothered you are yeah, about that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm wondering. Like it is, it is a five, it is a five power lifelink flyer. Yeah, and then next, turn, like it's gonna start draining pretty quickly. I reckon I just do it. Hmm. Yeah. Feels bad, but I think I have to. Strange that they'd do that. I suppose I have to do a pre combat, don't they? Death Tooch. Like that. Hopefully, they don't have a removal spell. Good if so, I've wasted my back for more. No, good. No, two for one, I'll take it. And then I guess if they rumble in, I need to block and fetch. Sure. 
I can live with that. Do I um fetch anything might upkeep, do you think? Oh no. Well you fetch something now. Alright, sorry. Yeah, well, I definitely, definitely, definitely fetch something now. I guess I'll get a planes this time, don't I? Yeah. And then upkeep, I think I did five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, if I draw a Titan off, I could just hard cast it. <laughs> so I guess I don't do it in upkeep. No. Boo. Do I play it or do I bluff? I think I just play, just play it. it. Yeah. And pass. I'm going to have no basic lands left in my deck after this turn, I think. There are only four left. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many else? I've got 16 lands, two fetch lands. One, so 13 basics, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got, yeah, four left. Yeah, I'm just going to have no basics left. Which will leave you with one evolving wild. Two evolving wilds. Yeah, two evolving yep. wilds. Do you have two evolving wilds? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, two two entirely dead draws. But I guess I guess any land would be a dead draw at this point anyway. So put a counter on, take two counters off. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My turn. So. Activate ability. I guess I, I can oh, yeah. take counter off this fertilizer as well, can't I? Why bother though? Because the difference between a 2 2 and 1 1 is basically irrelevant. And like, I just want to strip all the lands out of my deck. It, it, it thinks it's two counters on whatever you mutate onto it. Yeah. But then does two counters make a lot of difference at that point? Like, it's essentially this draw, because next turn you can like, this is put a, a counter on, target. take them both off the Fertilid, off the Pacified Fertilid. Like, I okay. I just don't think the percentage is, is worth it for... Yeah. Mm, right, okay. Well, I've drawn the Mutator. Yeah. Like, it's probably going on the Ivy Elemental anyway, but... Yeah. Just not yet, because it doesn't... Do I just hold yeah. it? Yeah, you hold it, because like, it doesn't do anything. I mean, yeah. It's much better to like mute it onto a batterer, or... Yeah. Or a Titan off. Just the extra trample. It's probably my opponent's not attacking with more, actually. Maybe they just have a... No, because also maybe they have a handful of Xenoth flares, but then that would be encouraging them to attack. I suppose the deck with spontaneous flight is a bit of a shaky cycling deck. We obviously ran out of playable cards. Yeah, so now you just like, that's where the mentor, take them both off. I have two evolving wilds and everything else is a spell. I don't think I even need to take them both off. I've only got one left. Or do I? You have two left. Okay, activate ability. Yeah, so there's one. I don't need this in play, do I? There's two, so let's just see what I can draw. Yeah, so it's two evolving worlds and then all spells. That is a pretty good set of potential draws. Two out of fifteen. Hmm. See, I'd put that onto something. Yeah. So if I put that onto Ivy Elemental, they have to discard a card, and then I can just attack with it, and it's a seven-seven. I know because in double block. They'll double block with the two first strikers. Yeah. I mean, it's still good to have a seven-seven. What you can do is have them whisper it, and then make them discard a card, or see if they have a removal spell, and then mute it again. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I can actually just attack with everything at that point as well. Over. Okay. That's not great. I just have a handful of land. Yeah. I'll do it again. They'll discard a card and you'll drain for two. 
Yeah, I'll try it. I'm trying to think if I... So, to see if they've got any good blocks, if I... Like, I might just win this turn. Like, if you diversify your threats. Yeah. Like, the drain's only for one and they don't discard a card, but... No, I think I'd rather just do this. I might just attack anyway. So you put them to eight. If you attack with everything, if they choose not to block the Cavern Whisperer, like they have to block the Cavern Whisperer because otherwise they're dead. Yeah. So let's say they so let's say they double block that. So I'm wondering if my opponent has a flare, what happens? Um, you probably die. <laughs> like, what's the flare count? It's a lot, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only eight. So just attack with everything. Fortune favors the brave. Because worst case scenario, they go block and kill that first strike. Block and kill that first strike. Kill that. So I'm losing three creatures. They take five, gain eight, and they lose. They only lose this or nothing. Should I do that? Or is that bad? Ah, screw it. I'm all in. Take Arcteon. It's like, it, I think it, it's based, like, Zenith Flare's the only card that wrecks me here. Um. Surely. Okay, that's good. Imagine if they threw it off this. Imagine. Imagine. Because, yeah, like you said, they have to block Cavern Whisperer. So either they lose two creatures or they kill it with first strike, but then that blocks that four, five, six, and they're dead. So they have, yeah. to, so they have to lose two creatures, Cavern Whisperer. This kills one thing. Actually, they're just dead. Are they just like, dead? Unless it's a removal spell. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it needs to be a removal spell. Yeah. It needs, it needs to be, yeah, something. It can't even be, like, generic cycle. It has to be a removal spell. Yeah. And even then, it's not actually looking that bad for me. Unless the cycler is Splendor Mare. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, like, they still have to block... There we go, just dead. Woo! Boom, 3-0. <laughs> Obviously, 3-0. Obviously, 3-0. Ob, ob, Won't be a ob, sec, just get ob. a drink. Sure, I'll keep going. Don't need your help. The answer to your question, Stewie, is no, I probably wouldn't have won through Flare. But thankfully they didn't have it. I think they would have been playing more aggressively if they had Flare. Because it was their race to win. Previous question. I can't you see the way Discord is like laying my screen? Here we go. Is there a name for your accent? Um, I don't think there is really. Neil's from Oldham, which is near Manchester, which is Mancunian. But there isn't a name, a specific name for Neil's exact accent. But for all intents and purposes, we can pretend he's Mancunian. Although that's more of a more of a kind of a location than a an accent. I really like honesty. I wish I first picked it. It was mine. We make the insatiable hemophage first. Sorry. Why didn't we make the insa? Oh, because it's a four drop. That's why. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> What absolute pap? Answered your own question, Neil. Bash them, make another 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Just play it old school limited. Yeah, old school 3-3s. Three, Generic 3-3s. Three, I'll go. Just be like, 
make a three three for three jesus christ that's a hook ahead of the curve make a three three for four on the curve with death touch neil is a series asking the chat is there a name for your accent i don't know if my answer covered the the intricacies my there. accent yeah northern that's it yeah i said the closest thing would be mancunian but like not not quite right uh, is it i just have a northern accent There are there are subtle differences between the various northern accents though. Like you sound different to to your son Lee. It's True. More of a Yorkshire accent. Is he from Hull? Hull. Uddersfield. Uddersfield. That's it. Oh no! I can't now mutate my battery. Oh, no, you can. <laughs> no, I can. Okay, uh, guess like it costs six to mutate anyway. But, but yeah, yeah, I just didn't have a target anymore. Cycle this now in case I draw dual land. Didn't draw dual land. I think I give this Drew life another lane, completely un- doing anything. Do you agree? Drew another completely uncastable splash card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, My opponent's playing blister spit gremlin though, so at least it's. At least we're equally matched in our unplayable, <laughs> unplayable cards. <laughs> these, no, here's his playable. Are... You can see it's playable because it's in play. <laughs> the two splashes in my hand, both of which are questionable splashes, I have to say. <laughs> Neither of which I can play. Both of which wouldn't be that great if I could play them. <laughs> Never mind. I suppose we're at the point where Kinnon uh, wouldn't be awful. Yeah, at the, start at the point where you draw Rexes. At the point where you draw... Oh, this isn't getting S's. An system. island, you're at six lands. And then... Then you're only one off. Then you're only one off a free Godzilla. Do you think I'll block here? No, I think you wait a turn. Okay. So I, mean, I could literally just die here or take a bunch of damage. You could actually just die, and that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'm going to say it's... YOLO. Oh, interesting. YOLO swaggings. I think my friend just doesn't have any cyclers in hand. Yeah, it's just got all the marmosets, none of the cyclers. No, I think they've got a cycler in hand. But they would have done it there, because that also brings them up to ominous seas. Yeah, they'll do it at the end of. Uh, they might do it at the end of turn. No, because why would they do it? Why would they do it at the end of turn rather than just hit me for four extra and potentially draw a cycler? I don't know, because they don't have a cycler. Do you go attack here and bait the block? What block with a boot nipper? Yeah, just attack, attack with a boot nipper. Yeah, and bait the block. Get a potential two for one, gain three life. Like I said, I don't think they have a cycler. Because well, I don't want to risk them drawing into the cycler. Hmm. What do you reckon? No, because they'll just block with Blister Spit Gremlin. Yeah, and that's fine. I still get a two for one. I think I do it. Oh look, you're going to get utterly fucked because they've obviously got a cycler. Like if they have a cycler, they would have cycled. It's just a bad play not to. Like I, I'm, If I lose, it's because they're just bad, basically. Like It was absolutely correct to cycle last turn. I'm not getting that screwed. I still kill a creature. What? What? A hundred percent they had a cycle. But why? Like, <laughs> but that was a terrible play. Why would you not just cycle? Like that was just so bad. If they if they cycled that, they could have just killed me on the spot. Like straight up killed me on the spot. That's so bad. I can't believe that. Honestly, they they I, I'm I'm st- 
stunned that, like, when they're blocked with that, I'm stunned that you didn't kill that with your... Because then I don't gain um, life. Yeah, I'm just dead here. Like, that attack was horrendous. It wasn't. Absolutely I, horrendous. It wasn't, because their lack of cycling was horrendous. Right. Why would they attack if they don't have a cycle? Because... Just because you, th- because they're like, they're like basic, people, like, people don't run those bluffs, Mateo. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. People but, on arena don't run those bluffs. When they attack know. like that, they have a cycler. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming too much of my opponent then. They 100% have a cycler. And the other thing is, people are also very scared of dying themselves. So the reason he didn't cycle is so that he could have his 2-3 back, and then when you attack with your 3-3, he can cycle and kill it. Yeah, ultimately... That, that's no. why. Ultimately, I was losing that game either way. Like, there's no way I'm winning that no, game. No, not at all. Right, so, all right, let's 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 play it out if I hadn't done that. Then what happens? So I don't, I don't, I don't attack, I just pass. Right? Yeah. And then what? My opponent attacks with three marmosets. What do I do? You block one of them. With what? The, your 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so they cycle. Yeah. And then you can mutate and kill one. Okay, K- like, and then they just go Lord Drakis, get my burn spell, kill your Batra, pass, you've got nothing in play. Like, obviously, but the thing and is I've what you're doing... i got an 8-8 and two like, Marma sets. Like, I was losing that game either way. There's no way I was winning that game. Like, it, like the other option is, what you can do is just block, and then... When they cycle, you just go, sacrifice the humble guy, gain three life, draw a card. Yeah, and then they make I'll an 8-8 eight, eight, and I'm still losing. Like, it's, well, I'm no, because just... when they make an 8-8, eight, eight, you can be like, oh, right, I've got Batra for that. Yeah, and then I lose to the to the three Marmosets in play. Like, there's, there's no, I promise you I wasn't winning that game. Like, no matter what I did, I was losing that game. Uh, what do I find? I go for the island. I'm feeling like a, I'm feeling like a turn two... Mythic. Turn to Kinnon. Boo. Fertility you up. Well, they're going to counter it. No. Might have a 6 6 next turn. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Or even a 7 7. Oh, <laughs> well, this game's going well. Why 7 7? Definitely won't have a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know where you got that from. What? All right, sorry, 6-6 six, six next turn. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't get you. I thought you meant you were going to sacrifice both of the counters off the Fertilid and... No. That's for next turn when they put a Capture Sphere on it. There isn't much in blue-green that can kill this now, is there? Especially when they're just playing Primal Empathy with nothing. Ah, Frostlings. Fine. Make your guy a 4 4, get a sandworm. You probably don't even bother though, do you? Probably just leave it as a 6 6. Uh, I'll probably do it once so I can play sandworm next turn. Because I, I don't know if the difference between a 5 5 and a 6 6 is huge at this point. Especially when I've got a 7 7 in play as well. They might be tempted. To, I guess what depends what they play. If they make another 3 3, I guess they might be tempted to double block. In which case, obviously, Heartless Act is pretty good. Of one mind is totally fine. They like well, the idea of drawing cards, don't they? Yeah, alternatively, I can just do nothing, just make a honey mammoth. Just attack with the six eggs and make a honey mammoth. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Maybe they have that essence scatter now. Don't get to use it. Uh, I just untap and yes, just untap. Bashing, yeah. Could make a boot nipper to tempt out the uh, bait out. Just make no a honey mammoth. Let's make a honey mammoth and get countered. Yeah. No, not even. Yeah, that primal empathy is not looking great, is it? 
I can even heartless act to remove them all. Set you back two turns. <laughs> One and a black. Take two turns. It's not looking great for you, mate. <clears throat> I see me talking to my opponent. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're dead. Not dead this turn, but might as well be. Uh, I don't need to great horn anything. Attack with both. I'll try and heart block. Attack the three, four. Yeah, I'll heart attack. You're dead. Doesn't matter, but I guess I'll put that on just in case. There's nothing for one blue that. Oh, should I be tricks in? Mm, uh, <laughs> it doesn't actually make a difference, but it would have killed both either way. You're dead. I suppose you're great on him anyway. Or do you not just you just nip him? Just <laughs> nip him. It really doesn't matter. In case they have some kind of wrath and I want to find a land, I don't think there's anything they could play for blue, 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 green, green plus. One other mana. Nope. They don't think so either. Sorry, Gravitoni. They were born in the same year as me, assuming the 90 is their birth year. Four one. We're not getting the seven oh, but we might get the seven one. One different way you could have gone about the um, the red white game is to just batter her onto the thing. Oh, look at this! Oh my days! Look at this spice. Just batter her onto the lifelink punter. Kill his marmoset that could block. Yeah, game three, and then attack him for six. I am just, I am just losing next turn though, because like I said, they've got the eight eight and they've got a burn spell. Like, I just wasn't winning that game. <laughs> Need a swamp. My mana base is so solid. How can this happen? Well, they've got an Amori, I just realised. At least they don't have any uh, tricks. Come on, there can't be a lot for you to think about. Make a plan, make a creature. <laughs> Literally no other plays. It might, no, you don't know. That might that might say sorcery. They might have three creatures. It definitely doesn't say sorcery. Oh yeah, yeah, it might say sorcery. Yeah, make a land, make a sorcery, or instant. Imagine that that would be a good. Um, oh no, I didn't want that. That would be a good stipulation draft, actually. Like a Mori, but it's not creature. A Mori, and you have to name the card type other than creature. Come on. Come on, Camilla Rhodes. Do you think that's a real name or a stage name? Don't know. Hopefully they play something you can heartless act. So you can heartless act it, and then untap, and then remove it and make a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Start being act. the aggro. I probably want to heartless act the Amori, actually, when it, when it hits play. It's nice when you have a big, fat target floating at the side of the game. Yeah, that is... Oh, I can't kill it anyway. Fine. I can. I can remove the counters. I can most definitely kill that if I want to, but I don't. I have a lot of live draws here. Any black land or any big shot? Really? <laughs> yeah, and the, the only bad draw right now, I think, is forests. Or, like, non-black lands, of which I don't have that many. I've got four forests left. There's only four cards in the deck that I don't three, have draw. Three forests left. Are there? One, two... No, I've got... You're playing six forests. Okay, yeah, so three forests left. So I've only got three bad draws in the deck. Don't name it, it'll happen, says Stewie in the chat. Thanks for joining us, by the way, Stewie. We did a bit last minute, so we haven't had a huge uptake, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll get more in future. Right? We're, we're streaming this through the, um, the Discord rather than Twitch, but I might stream on Twitch next time. I don't know what the... 
Well, I guess if we're doing it as a Patreons special, then we probably should keep doing it um, through Discord. But yeah, we're, I guess, for the benefit of the non-live viewers, we're going to try and do more um, Patreon-only things, and one of them will probably be these drafts, so we'll do one a week. And so only the Patreons can join, but then we will put it on YouTube after. Uh, just retire creature with no counters on it. This one, please. And they can't try and bring it back, because I'll remember I've got an enforcer. There's, there's one of them! Like Stewie says, don't don't name it, it will happen. Call it. Call it hard. Shot. Yeah. Right, so there's two bad draws left in my deck. Two out of 26. I am incredibly unlucky, famously. I top eight Famously I don't unlucky. like to talk about it, but I top eight the and got very unlucky. Yeah, oh, it you. wasn't a bad draw. Jokes on you, because I've got nothing in my hand. <laughs> Do you realise I've got nothing to mutate onto? Yeah. Because that makes humans, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. White human soldiers. Just make a human and pass the turn. Like you're not doing anything. They don't know that. Come on. They don't, attack. don't attack. Come on, don't attack. What a bluff. I don't know what I'm bluffing. But if they don't attack here... Come on. Please don't attack. Maybe they think I'm winning the race. Some sort of flash death touch punter, maybe? Come on, don't... Oh, they read me. Read me like a book! It's got, um... Double, what's it called? Ooh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Uh, it doesn't make a difference what land I play, does it? No, you okay. only have the land. Yeah, I'm just thinking, if I do it now and I draw a swamp and then they mutate again, I can discard that forest? Or am I overthinking that? Uh, no, I suppose you mutate now. That makes sense. Uh, forest, swamp. And if I draw the two drop? No, I don't, uh, want no. I don't want to tap. Forest swamp. planes, forest planes should be. No, because I want to activate this if I can. But then it's unlikely I can activate it, isn't it? Uh, no, because you're you're going to play land. Forest, forest. Yeah, forest, forest. I think forest, forest is right. Give this trample. Yeah, it's not bad, is play it? Play land. Yeah, play land. Make a fertilid. Do you make a fertilid? Do you not keep that to discard? If they make me discard, I'll just discard Batra. Surely. Like, I feel like I'd just discard fertilid and then remove it from the game with the General's Enforcer to make a 1-1. One -one. Mm. Like, I feel like that's just much, much better <laughs> than a fertilid being in play doing largely nothing. Okay, I'll take your word for it. don't know if that's right, though, because... If they did do that, then I'd just discard Batra, then I'd back for more than one creature and attack for five. Like, that's pretty heavily in my favour at that point. Whereas now I'm not really achieving anything. Okay, Fastlid is a big whatever, as is Durable Core Bug. Do you not have any, how many, do you not have another creature in the bin, no? No. Oh. Well, I guess I just... Do I do it now in case they've got, like, a dead eye? Yeah, seems reasonable. Yeah, because I, I don't really care about the two for one, and they are literally just playing creatures, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it now. Oh, actually, yeah, they're literally just playing creatures, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, literally just playing creatures. There's nothing they can have other than a lurking dead eye, pretty much. So yeah, like, I can't imagine how they can even deal with this 11-11 now. A Death Touch creature wouldn't really deal with it because it would trample over for loads and I'm just winning with other cards. Looks like they're attacking. Attack. <laughs> Come on, attack me. Show me what you got.
Don't just attack with the coil bug because they've got the dead eye and hope that you block. Yeah. They didn't. You didn't. I mean, they, they, might, didn't. they might still have the dead eye now, but big one. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Like, still, yeah. still taking a Deck ton of damage, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Maybe we should have attacked with that as well. Yeah, that probably would be correct, wouldn't it? Forces the block. Should we have attacked with everything? Yeah. Oh well. Uh, something to it, I think. Yeah, remove the coil bug. Yeah. If they try and get it back, that is. Well, no, they've got to play a dead it eye, looks, aren't it they? It looks like there is a. Is there a dead eye? No. There's, there's something, but I think it might be the coil bug. Yeah, there is a dead eye. Played it well. Uh, that's fine, isn't it? There's not much I can do about it. Nice. Why would you not remove the coil bug there? I don't know. I suppose if they're spending because if five mana to respond yeah, to your exactly. you know, like, I don't really. I, I hope they do, in fact, because I, I want to get a swamp so I can just batter them to death next turn. I want to keep this alive and then batter them in the air if I can. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because again, they literally can't have a trick. <laughs> They can't stop that because they're playing just creatures. Unless they have their own Batra, in which case I'll be very sad. Sad times. Imagine losing to another Batra. How sad. Well, you wouldn't die to it. Uh, no, but it'd be pretty bad if they killed this now. Okay, well, they're dead then. GG. GG, thanks for playing. You're right there, sounds like you're having a mic microphone muting issues. Remember to do over. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter which one I kill, because they dead. What's that, 5 1? Uh, five, Obviously, five, it's 5 one. 1. Obviously, five, it five. doesn't really matter what collection of absolute pappage that you draft. When you've got my assistance, you. That's, it must be still it. Win. We're an unstoppable force. <sighs> easy game, easy game, in the profit. It's quite late, it's quite past 10. I'm on the draw. I think that's fine. I have a card I can play. Yeah. I have a card I can play. <laughs> I have a card. Oh no, I'm going to play Red White Cycling. Okay, well, that's a good draw. Would have been better as a plane. So even, even better, a Black White Jewel. But I'll take it. Rip a plans. Nearly. Uh, lifelink? Yeah. 100% lifelink. I think I'll go for lifelink. Hopefully my pen doesn't a... attack until I can cavern whisper it onto it, although they are fingering it, which implies it's about to die. Or well, they were just reading what I gave it. Ooh. Well, like, you against red white cycling, you 100% give lifelink. Yeah. Oh, nice. They didn't attack. The plan's coming together. If I can get it for one more turn, I'm going to start exalted angeling them. Thing is, they'll probably just play a mam set and play a land, and then be like, what? No, <laughs> just, just stingers today. Oh, okay. Do it in your main pew, phase. Pew, pew. Do it in your main phase, why don't you? So they can attack. But why does that make them able to attack? I don't know, I'm just coming up with ideas. Do There's no know? reason not to just do this, right? No. Of course you do this. Yeah. And, and attack, right? 
Yeah, definitely attack. Okay. You will happily trade for two of their punters yeah. or or drain for. Uh, so, I mean, it's not because I'm taking six on the swing back. Like it's not. I don't think it's that obvious. Only trouble is I don't want to just like randomly die to a removal spell. But then what could the removal spell be? Rumbling rock slide. Yeah. Yeah. Thing is, you have to attack. Yeah. Like. Because otherwise they'll just be like, all right, neither of us attack. Every time I cycle a card, you take three. Yeah. I'm getting a 4-4 four, four next turn anyway for the blocks. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. So I'm taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 11, I'm taking 14 this turn? Yeah, 14. 14, you go. Oof. Rough. It's sneakers back. Make a 4-4 four, four attack and pass. Like you said, I can't really not do anything. Uh, you can't. I'm, I'm not, like, if they have... a, a single cycler kills you if you attack. No, it doesn't. 7, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, it puts me on... Right, you'll go to 11. They'll yeah. cycle. You'll take 3, which will put you to 8. And then they'll attack you with a 5-4 and three two twos of which you can block 1. Yeah, and I take 7, so I go to 1. A single cycler puts me to 1. I have to attack. No. Yeah. So I no, like, you're dead. Don't attack. If you attack, you're dead. I don't know how you're doing that maths. Right. You will go to 11, yeah? Yeah. They will cycle a card. You will take 3. Go to 8. Go to 8. And then they will attack you with a 5-4 and which three two twos. Yeah, which I block. Which will... So I'll take seven, go to one. Oh yeah, because you can block yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Don't question my maths, it's literally my job. But this requires them only having one cycler. Yeah, but if they have two cyclers, like, I'm not beating that anyway, am I? But if they've got none, hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. Oh boy, if they've got none, this game's mine. Making a honey mammoth next turn. Oh. There's the first one. They're thinking oh, about it. I don't know why they thought about that, because it seems a pretty obvious play. But they did think about it. They might only attack with the 5 4. That'd be great for you. They won't. Surely. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> sure. Whatever, nice deck. Thanks for playing. <coughs> like the cycling decks, when they're busted, they're just busted. Yeah. Like that that person was obviously just drafting with idiots. Like you, you shouldn't really have four Dranith Stingers. Presumably they had more than that. If they've drawn four in the first twelve cards or whatever it was. So like Maybe you don't attack? Well, I was, like, dead, either way. I was dead either way. No, I was dead either way. No, no, if you don't attack the first time uh, and just sit at 17. Like, you don't attack. They, yeah, they cycle and deal you a bunch, but, like, they don't, don't attack. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I could predict the 5-4 haste. Like, that's obviously going to swing the, the, the race in their favour quite heavily. Yeah, the 5 4 haste obviously changes things massively. What dictates whether something gets. Um, a little animation? Um, I have no idea. It used to be just Mythics, but they obviously expanded the. Um, do I make a. Bushmeat poacher here. I think that's. Don't right. make an ivy elemental here, so you can like great horn onto it, and it'll be huge. Yeah, that's fair. And then if I if they or just, no, or I'd rather have bush, bush meat. Yeah, bush meat, so they don't just randomly two for one me. Next turn, I can make an elemental and a boot nipper or something. Nip nip. Okay. Well. <laughs> hmm. What could this be? Uh, no Unlikely. There's, there's a lot of things it could be, isn't it? Working yeah. dead eye. Yeah. Spontaneous flight. Yeah. Nipper and a fertile lid. 
Do you reckon not just a four four a uh, three three ivy elemental or even a four four? I don't know. But like, are you going to block with it if you make it as a four four? Mm, no, so I might make it as a three. But then, what's the point of making it three three? Because I'm not going to randomly sack it, am I? You could make a boot nipper and then great horn onto it as life link. See what happens there. Mm, I don't know. Because then I leave myself open to push. I think nipper and fertile is is the best play, and I'll probably give this life link actually, so I can great horn onto it if I want to. Yeah. Yeah. If they make a big creature, I'll just heartless act it. Life link and a fertile and pass. No attacks. Okay, that is fine. I can live with the uh, Savai Sabertooth aggro. Noble Ox. Oh! Got great, a great horn. I think great horn on the Fertilid. I think back to plan A, right? Yeah. Sorry, not fair to boot nipper. I think a th uh, three four life link's probably a bit better than a five six. Yeah, I suppose so. Find that island. Assemble. That island life. Assemble. Ultron. Because they don't have a lot of good blocks here so I just do I just let that happen or do I try and kill one of them I'll probably just let it happen yeah like it's a two for two but I yeah. don't know yeah just... I was hoping they'd have a trick but they don't so it must be a lurking dead eye that they've got well no because they played the Savai Sabertooth beforehand last time oh did they yeah so they played the Sabertooth then attacked maybe they just don't have anything then Interesting. No, they've got like unlikely aid or spontaneous yeah, flight. I feel like they would have tried to play the unlikely aid there, wouldn't they? Maybe not. No, because like, they're like, oh, well, I'll take a two for two. Yeah. I guess it's, yeah, more of a two for, a three for two because I've got to land off it for free. But either way, yeah. Doesn't matter too much. So you need the attack. Stewie, uh, Stewie oh no, because it's got first bite, doesn't it? Animations for all impactful cards, not just rares. Oh, it's my turn now. Find a land, right? Yeah, I guess so. Swamp. Swamp. Another swamp. Make a massive ivy, ivy elemental and pass. Yeah, make a 6-6. Six, six. Make six, six, one, two, three, four, six. That Helica Glide is doing a good job of holding off my entire team. But no more. I have a six, six. Also, yeah. a question from Stewie what card drew them into black, white? Because it's none of these. Might be the rare human, I guess. The the mythic guy, the the lord. Well, that, that would draw you into humans, not non-humans. Yeah, it's true. None of these are humans. Yeah, maybe they just have a terrible deck. It would explain why you keep on winning. <laughs> uh, do I just poach this fur today? I don't really need another land, do I? Yeah. Does leave me open to the uh, <laughs> the Blitz Leech. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> of all the cards. Um, make a Fertilid. What I could do. I can make a Fertilid and mutate onto it, make them discard a card. I suppose they just discard that, don't they? Still make a 6-6, yeah. six, six, though. I think it's pretty good. Do you want to do it and put the Hemophage on it instead? No, because then I can Hemophage onto it next turn if I want to. It's only a 5-5 five five if I do that. Well, like, 
I, I feel like they'll just play the coil bug now that they've not got six mana to leave up. I could and just do neither. Yeah. I feel like waiting and then making them discard their entire hand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll do that. Because like, you, know, you also leave Heartless Act up this way as well. Yeah. Okay, well... Sack it and sack it. Yeah, fine. No, not like that. Cancel. Yeah, good plays from us. By us, I mean you. Why are you not attacking with a Blitz Leech? Probably because they don't want me to block it. I might actually kill it this turn so they can't then double yeah. block. Yeah. Yeah, no blocks. Heartless act it and then be like, alright, discard a couple of cards. Yeah, smash you. Oh, past the damage, they haven't actually finished yet. I don't really have. Uh, just want to a creature with no counters on it. Okay, so they've got nothing because they're just auto passing. Uh, this one first, right? Yeah. Over. Okay, land. Hopefully, it's a spell next. I, I mean, I could just make a. Hornback Mentor, Hornbash Mentor. Like, I don't need to mutate, do I? No. I think a Hornbash Mentor is just better. Stop you keep the mutate. Yeah, you can keep the mutate punter for, uh, for when they have battery. one card left. Ew. Why? Ugh. Like, I would definitely block with the Hornbash Mentor. Yeah. On the Helica Glider. What could they have here, though? Well, the things that you don't care because you've got the Bush Meat Porcher. So yeah. it's like, alright. It's very weird. I don't know. Weird. It's like just straight up giving away that you've got something and forcing yourself to play it into a two for one against yourself. Like, it's a weird. I don't know. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Ooh. Do you not just make a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yeah, alternatively I could actually make them discard that last card and then like, I'm in a pretty good position there. I'm pretty sure with a 7-7 seven, seven in play that they can't block you're in a good position anyway. Yeah, but I'm leaving them completely on top of the deck and I can like find two lands with it, sacrifice it to draw a card. I think I'd rather just do that. Tap my mana slightly more intelligently than what that's suggesting. Yeah, make them discard their last card. Uh, and uh, cause then I can f double furted, strip two lands out of my deck, sacrifice it to Butch Me Poja or whatever. They had nothing, but next turn I'll make a 7-7. Seven, seven. They've obviously had nothing. I don't, I don't understand obvious. why you think... Because they've done nothing. Like They might do something. <laughs> you never know. What? What is it going to be that they've had that they've <laughs> decided not to play? I don't know, but this way, like, I can't really lose from them top decking versus me with all this gas. Why are they attacking still? Whatever. They might have the um, 2 3 that makes a 1 1. No, it's a Loras. Interesting. Sure. He sacrificed it to draw a card as well, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, this was always the plan. Uh, right, so I've got 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana, 6. I probably want to just kill that Loris now, don't I? With a Cavern Whisperer? Yeah. And then I could just hard cast the other Cavern Whisperer, I think. I don't need to kill the Loris because it actually doesn't have anything. He's got dead weight. 
Yeah, I'll just get it now. Get Cone Whisperer, Cavalaris, attack for two. Make a Cavern Whisperer. You're dead. Nice, two drops. I want 23, what are you going to do? Concede. So that's what... Hmm? Well, that, uh, so that's what dragged him into black-white. The Loras, was... yeah, yeah. The Loras. <laughs> Literally just the Loras, but they couldn't quite draft it to be... Like, they probably started trying to draft a Loras deck with it as their companion, but then failed and just ended up with a really crap deck. But it's really easy to draft the Loras deck. You just don't, like, don't you just take, take anything that costs more than two. It's only permanent. So like you can still have all the blood curdles and mythos of Nethroids and You don't really see that many blood curdles and mythos of Nethroids, like maybe two max of those combined. Well Black Carilla really, they've got lucky. two mythos of Nethroid in, so This is for the, the the seventh win, by the way, and it's a pretty good hand. I'm keeping. I'm keeping. Oh, the green cycling deck. Green white cycling. Skull profits trading off. What? What? Uh, no, I'm just intrigued by their deck of. I suppose like pe people like just making cycling deck. one mana. Like, yeah, <laughs> cycling being two mana was fine. I agree. And then they're like, oh no, let's make it three. And it's like, uh, boss, don't want to do I, I don't have any durable coal box, do I? No. I was thinking if it's worth me just like randomly doing this. Like it fuels my graveyard for back for more, but then that's <laughs> pretty good for me. Yeah. Um, is it is it worth me? I don't think it's worth me doing that really, is it? No. It just adds to the feel bads of milling my good cards like they've just done there. Yeah, one manner of colour would have worked. Okay, that's why then. Okay. But yeah, I agree that I think Watsy screwed up with this set by even allowing those kinds of shenanigans. Like, they, they should have made the cyclers to be one coloured mana, not one generic mana. Yeah. It just makes stupid decks. I don't mean necessarily stupid bust it, just like stupid decks. Uh, make them discard? Yeah, I could make them discard, or I could just great horn this up and then next time I can make them discard uh, not you make them discard surely yeah and then I've got 6-6 six, six in play but then hmm to which, well, to which way do I get more of that yeah I'm just wondering if they kill it no it doesn't really matter too much does it good attack here as well no it's not worth it is it it's got life link, yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah. Okay, well they discarded land. Never mind. All the coil bugs. They don't play another spell. It looks like they're going to though. Nice. Just trade off profits, right? Yeah. And then just make a cavern whisperer, or do I make a bushmeat porcher? Just make a bushmeat porcher. Yeah, it blocks either way, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm facing a three-six lifeling, but it's not actually looking that bad for what. Stop drawing removal spells, but how many they have? Well, they've only drawn two. Uh, like, yeah, but they also milled two. Um, you don't actually matter which of these you play first. Yeah, really. I suppose you play this, that this one. This one costs a bit more, so I'll use my mana more efficiently. Yeah, that's better. That's not. Uh, 
Fun game going on here now. Just monsters facing monsters for the seventh win. I suppose my I have my draws are probably slightly liver than theirs. Like I, they can't have that much more removal, right? And I have probably have fewer lands in my deck than them. Like you have two. No, don't attack. A few. Oh. What? Oh. So monster step like make that block right. Um, remind me, if you put it on the menace card, do they have to block? I don't they have know. to block it with both, don't they? Up to one. They have to block it with two things. Turn, if able. I don't know if that's true. I think they I'm, might... I'm, I'm pretty sure they have to block with two. I don't want to risk it, and also they just get the core bug back, so, like, who cares? True. So, yeah, I'm just do this, I think. On the right arm. Yeah. Back. They have to block with two. Do they? Who says that? Stewie. I was pretty sure they had to as well. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter because I'll just get the coil bug back. It makes them spend mana. I don't even know if that was a correct play, to be honest. Maybe it would be better just to... Cycle it. Well, or even just to pass. Like, keep it if they, make a, if they draw a better creature. Ooh. Three, six, seven, eight. Not quite. Well, next, <laughs> next turn. Next turn, baby. Fine. Oh, that's one of Death yeah, Touch. Yeah. But I'll, hopefully they'll attack with it and I'll block and then... Yeah, there we go. That's actually the perfect land to draw. Because yeah. now... Because they'll attack. Yeah, they'll, they'll hopefully attack. thing is, they might not even attack. I don't see why not. It's just a free trade with... Like, they just want to get my creatures off the board. Yeah. Instant block. The snap block. Never blocked faster. What do they have? Mutual destruction. Maybe, yeah. They can't have another mutual destruction. Yeah. Like, they can't. Like, I don't know. If you play multiple coil bugs, like, it is pretty good, but... They've definitely got something, because they're, like, fingering stuff. Ah, interesting. Fine, mine's bigger. That's fine. Make it 11-11. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, how big? Ah, oh, mine's bigger. No attacks. We've got an interesting deck. Not really. Multiple, multiple unbreakable bonds. A lot of weird removal. Yeah. Well, not like that weird, just multiple mutual disruptions. It's funny that they're like... Alright, bash you. Thought just follow the, oh. the normal rules that only us can chat and everyone else just has to write in. Uh, yeah, hi Rob. Yeah. Discussion. Nine, nine. Hi Rob. Ooh. Ooh. Hi Rob. You've joined me in the final, final game. 12? Oh, yeah. Well, we are 2 we're, we're, no, no. we're six two. Oh. That's all of them, yeah. Six two and... I think it's in my favour because I've got 20, 24 power of creatures in play. <laughs> yeah, your opponent was on 32. That's quite a lot of life. Yeah, that is a lot. They've, this is their set. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. In their draw step. Um, I think I just... Yeah, you can card. do it in their draw step after they've drawn. Discard. What are you doing? Why, why would you not do it in their draw step? What are you talking about? Uh, on the Cavern Whisperer. So do, on the do I not just win this turn? So, right, so... 12 them to 9. They have to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just win this turn. I mean, I haven't done the exact maths, but I'm, I'm either winning no, or getting them to, like, 1. I think all you do is, like, uh, kill all the creatures or something. <laughs> Actually, I, yeah, I forgot about the yeah, destroy I mean, a creature bit. I, like, I could, <laughs> I could make them discard in their draw step, or I could win the game. That's also an option. Yeah, there we go. GG, thanks for playing. Another 7 win. I mean, winning the, oh, winning the game. Winning the game is nice, but it's not the same value as making them discard in their draw step. Yeah, yeah. true, very true. Platinum tier one. I honestly, a hundred percent would have done it in their draw step. <laughs> that Rob is why I'm platinum tier one, and you're gold four. I'm assuming there. I don't know what you are. G 
Do you even oh, play well, anyway? Please lend it, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you were last season, minus two ranks. Oh, my days. Boom, look at that. The four-colour Batra deck. Do you want to see my deck, Rob? Yeah, I watched, I watched Kinnan. it get drafted. Oh, did you? Okay. It's I'm taking after you all then, so my... Oh, yeah, you did watch it get drafted, didn't you? Kinnan never saw play. Never <laughs> <liked> <laughs> literally zero never plays. This saw a couple oh. of games. This saw a couple of games. Could have been used expertly, wasn't. To, to Baited our opponent into playing a second <laughs> graveyard spell. Got them the second time. Exactly, because if I'd used it the first time, they would never even bothered. But I got them the second time. But I mean, I only didn't play this because I drew it one game where I didn't have the mana. Like, if there were a lot of games where I could have drawn it, it would have been great. So I'm, I'm not going to... Great as a stretch, but... <laughs> would have found me tight to But yeah, anyway, cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Boom. another out, seven wins with another another seven wins undefeated almost. Uh, I hope the moral is always make sure people are watching when you're doing stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, always make sure so. people are watching when you do something stupid. As we've been very saying on the podcast for so many much years. More. All right, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm gonna sign out for the night. Bye, Bye. leaders. Good hustle, gang. Good hustle, gang.